Hi, this is Graphical 8678. Today, I picked up some. I have something that I got from a telephone company guy off the street. It's the, this right here, a TII Network Technologies Model PID 442 CP Grounding Module. It has one unit. So, let's unbox this thing and see what we got. Of course, I got Verizon Fios. Took the little instruction sticker off my router for safety. So, if we open the box, there's obviously no user manual. Got the device itself, which has uh, electrical outlets, TII, ground not present and ground present indicators, cable TV grounding, and an external ground terminal right here. You could do this for an appliance like a closed gas closed tumble dryer, external ground wire, something to connect to here if you don't have a cold water pipe, street prong. And it's got a mounting tab. Inside, as well, the only other accessory you get is this longer screw if you're existing faceplate screw. Will not fit. So, let's show you how to install this device. Okay, this here is my outlet I'm going to be installing this device on. It is a uh, electric outlet with a light switch for my light. It's going to be used to connect my coaxial grounding system. for the router, if necessary. So the first thing is first, you don't even have to shut the power off to do this. If you look at this, this faceplate screw has to pop out using a uh, just a flathead screwdriver. You may need a Phillips head if you're going to use the longer screw. This is the same way if you were installing a conventional ground adapter, like that orange thing I have there next to my piggy bank. Move my bedroom light switch. Faceplate screw. Okay, we just loosen it. We can now take out the screw and save it in case it fits. Since my screw is the same length as the one that comes, we don't even need to use the new screw. The existing screw can just secure this straight down. Then we take the adapter and we line up the prongs and we plug the grounding module into the electric outlet of my light switch. You should get a automatic green indicator, which is normal. If this comes on, you're not grounded, and if both of them come on, you have a fault in your electric wiring. Next phase is to reattach your cover plate screw. And that's it.